हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन सो स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी आर डूइंग होल नंबर्स चैप्टर इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस द यूज ऑफ प्रॉपर्टीज मींस बाय यूजिंग प्रॉपर्टीज हाउ वी कैन मेक आर सम्स इजी सो इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस हाउ टू यूज कम्यूटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी एंड एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी इन आर सम्स सो today again we will continue the same topic use of properties today we will see by using distributive properties how we can make our calculations easy okay so first example i am taking here find the product by using suitable property so sum is 1005 multiplied with 168 like students you can see it seems very difficult that first we will write it in columns then we will find out its answer but now you will see that by using distributive property how easily we can solve this sum okay so let's start so first you will focus on the number which is nearest to tens hundreds thousand or 10000 or so on so if you see out of these two this number is nearest to 1000 this is not nearest to 100 this number is nearest to 1000 okay it means we will break this number so if this number is written on this side you first change their places and you have done this in commutative property that by changing their places in addition and multiplication there is no difference so in first step i have changed their places okay the number which we are breaking it should be written here on second place clear so if it is already written on second place then no need to write this step no need to change their places but if it is written on this side then you can change their places so let's start 168 multiplied with 1005 now which number is nearest to hundreds thousands or tens that number will be broken up so 168 as it is this multiplication sign as it is now this 1005 we can break it as 1000 1000 plus 5 we can write it it in expanded form okay so after breaking this number in next step now we will multiply this 68 with both these numbers why with both these numbers because these numbers are written in bracket so if outside any number is multiplied it means this number will be multiplied with both these numbers okay so let's multiply one by one so first 168 will be multiplied with 1000 so we have written put it in one bracket because this is one pair now here which sign will come which is here if here it is plus you will use here plus sign if here it is negative means suppose here it is written 98 so how you will uh, break this number 98 can be written as 100 minus 2 98 is nearest to 100 na so 100 minus 2 so then you will use here negative sign so the sign which is present inside the bracket that you will write here okay so after writing the same sign again 168 will be multiplied with 5 okay see first i have multiplied with this number then i have multiplied with second number okay now there are two pairs in their brackets so now we will first uh, solve their brackets so you know how to multiply it with tens hundred thousands so simply we write the zeros so three zeros with 168 so we are getting 1 lakh 68000 now plus same sign okay 168 into 5 you can multiply it horizontally so 5 eights are 44 5 sixths Thirty, thirty-four, three carry five ones are five plus three eight, so eight hundred forty. Now, when you will add these, see in last three zeros are there and there are three digits. So simply we can write with three digits this. 
you know these tricks okay because all these three places are zero and these three places will be written as it is with this number so we are getting 1,68,840 see without writing in columns we got our answer so your sum has become easier okay by using distributive property clear to all it's very interesting to do so next type i am taking actually in your book this sum is given first but i think first you should do these sums okay so that you should be aware of this step so now if you see in this sum this step is given your sum is see this step i have written like this 297 into 17 plus 297 into 3 it means there are two pairs because plus sign is there there may be plus there may be minus okay so make two pairs in second step i have done nothing i have just put them in brackets okay because these are two pairs they are separating with plus sign okay so see same step now you will move backward okay after this if you see 297 297 in both so i can take common if it is present in both i can write it once now what is left multiply inside here out of these two 297 is written here so what is left 17 so in this 297 is written outside what is left 3 okay so 17 plus 3 is 20 now you can multiply it horizontally 10 is there we will write as it is so 27s of 14 one carry 29s of 18 one carry 19 so one carry 22s of 4 plus 1 5 so answer is 5940 see your calculation was so complicated but by using distributive property you have made this sum easy okay i hope it is all clear to you thank you students have a nice day